how one makes a profession. And the profession right in here since has been part of it. You go and find a place to speak out of it. So there is a way you write a title, you write your address. It's only a matter of training, that's the ball. So you write, write it. But no, very short one sentence. And what you are going to present. Now, because it's not a research paper, it is like a write up in a museum. Put the reference, suppose you're typing black and six in college. The one you have sentences that, that you really read there, but you have rephrased it, say, where is your black and six? Or if you do it on a mic, paper, whatever, maybe. So then you then the bottom and the rest of it. And then people usually will communicate easily. So which means you choose a good student. Okay, like, like in nature you see they, they do that and in many journals, uh, biochemistry and so forth. So you, you put a figure, and when you put a figure that's another thing to learn, that without the source it means it's complimentary. Which means you're stealing. And they could put you in jail, of course, nobody will. <laughs> and what I'm saying in general, it is important that you write the source and you write a legend. Somebody yesterday sent a figure two. Well, how can you have figure two without figure one? And the same way, if you are citing a reference by number, one, two, you can have the tenth reference, which means you are copying it from that. So, so you write figure one and write your own number, and you can say, source two from such and such. Yeah. It's a simple reference is in many journals, one, all the names, and et al, by the way, somebody thinks, read it up, et, et means and, it's a one word, alias, alias, so I explained it to them, and then I put it to them. It's easier, simple thing, format thing, that when you learn, you're better off in the learn. And then in the references, you got the author's name, the year, uh, author's name and the year, and the full title, then the name of the journal, and a ticket by standard means. So go to Google and they will tell you how to abbreviate any term. Some journals are not abbreviated. Biochemistry is not abbreviated. Science is not abbreviated. Nature is not abbreviated. So a lot of journals are not abbreviated. But photosynthesis research is photosynth, then RES. Journal of Biological, J. Not JBC, that's a short form. And when you copy it, right, you never know who has written it. So you write, uh, let's say, but as I said, bi bi biochemical, biophysical access, the biochem, biophys access. So, and then volume number, then you call it. You learn to write the references and uh, it'll be good for you. Yeah? So that's all I'm doing. I'm not reading you, I'm just making an impression. And so that the body is the one who finally grade you. The one page write up is required for getting a grade in the course. And some of you have not me yet. And so please recognize the problem. And I'm leaving on the fourth night. And I am lecturing on the third, so I cannot correct it until after I have lectured at IMG. And then I will correct. But we'll correct it even if you send it later, but please don't do that because it can get lost. So when you go by some other uh, particular way. So please, and I appreciate it, presentation, and let's have some to the Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Govindji and all the students present here. Thank you.
it comes from excited state. Well, the light is absorbed by a photosynthetic liquid can go can be absorbed and used for many photosynthesis, and it can be used. Uh, it can uh, it can be emitted as photons.
एंकरिंग फोटो डिपेक्टिंग द सेंसर ऑफ मैनेज यूज इन फ्लोरोप्लास नाइट्रोलेटेड फ्लोरोप्लास एंड दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म बाय व्हिच ऑल सिंगल मैनेज यूज इज इंडेडिंग बिटवीन द मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ फ्लोरोप्लास एंड दिस इज द ड्राई मार्क ऑफ सिंगल स्टेम डिपेक्टिंग फाइव कोटेड मैनेज यूज बिटवीन द मेम्ब्रेन
make corrections in that when I return to the right? If it's PowerPoint, but if it is um, PDF, uh, okay. all right. So that, that's fine. Thank you very much. Uh, I do have one more point, uh, which I have made uh, in my class about this whole, the very interesting thing that you said. So it's very interesting that I uh, have presentations being given on different, and uh, people choose, and they choose, they use, and they choose very interesting topics, which we don't have time in the class to do. So Blankenship had a, an article in Science, Blankenship et al., many articles, and he made a theoretical conjecture that photovoltaics tax you same kind of point that you know, infrared and therefore the photosynthesis is not using infrared but oxygen photosynthesis. He proposed that perhaps there would be a way, there should be a way of changing photosynthesis from one that does a job to redesign it, re-engineer it, so it will also absorb the infrared. And so make photosynthesis from one capture the light that you will capture the nanopart <coughs> or you or somebody else I forget. So it's a very interesting part for the future of how we can capture the part. I'm glad you chose the topic. I'm sure others have also chosen the topic. Okay.
and uh, it will be it will be uh, pre phosphorus nitrate and the biomass. So it, this is in this is after using the wild type R U so far. And my my We use them as genetically modified uh, R use so far. There is R E two one one plus two one two three uh, with tag plus uh, platinum. So if they use the this genetically modified bacteria, they can produce the isotope. This is a desirable uh, energy source. So uh, there's some things we need to consider here. If we use genetically modified uh, bacteria, the, the efficiency, the production of the isotope number is like three point nine percent. But if we, uh, if they use the uh, wild type uh, use of arms, then it's like seventy point eight percent of the biomass is not desirable to us. So they introduce uh, they introduce three genes. Uh, they they introduce three the genes in the plasmid uh, This these are the genes uh, Fa A, C A C C F A B C A B A. These are the these are genes related to the plasmid. And they block the pathway for uh, polyhydroxybutyrate synthesis pathway. And this, this introduction of these genes leads to the pro uh, production of this isopropanol. And this is the cell growth, this is the isopropanol concentration of uh, production, this is isopropanol uh, production. And another thing is when they, uh, when they, when they apply the uh, uh, potential energy, if they apply less than 2.7 voltage, then there is there 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 is decrease in the optical density of the cell. Here you can see that this, this optical density this is again 2.3 volt uh, 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 voltage. So there is the optical density of the cell is very very less here. So if if they use the this uh, potential of 2.7 voltage, then they can here the optical density is quite high. And this is the same thing that 2.7 there is the cell cells are there. 2.3, there is no cell death, there is a cell death of it in this case. This is because the, if they use under potential, under potential, the, the, the potential, it cannot split the water molecules. It, it cannot split, split the water molecules. So it leads, uh, the, instead, it, uh, it is used by the uh, reactive oxygen species, which leads to the production of the hydrogen peroxide there, hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, which is very toxic to the cell. So as you can see, and this toxicity is measured because of, of course in this cathode you can show you if you can see this is zero R, this is twenty-four R in the cathode, so there is no cell no no cell grow in this potential twenty-four R to twenty-four R. So toxicity is mainly put at the cathode region. And this can be uh, maintained by for continuous carbon of the carbon dioxide, this is plus carbon of, of carbon dioxide, this is minus carbon. There, there is cell growth here, there is no cell growth here. And same uh, again in this case. This uh, blue, the blue square, this is the cathode uh, anode region, and this, uh, this uh, red, this is the uh, cathode region. So hydrogen, uh, hydrogen peroxide production in the cathode region is very high in the in the cathode, in the cathode as compared to the, the end. They, uh, and this can be uh, this can be managed by uh, using catalase enzyme, which can convert this hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. So uh, gray circle, this gray circle is associated with the circle. These are after treated, after treated gray catalase enzyme, and this green circle is after treated with inactivated catalase enzyme. So after after inactivating taking the catalase, there is no effect in the hydrogen, no reduction in the hydrogen peroxide as a uh, production. So this is the same thing. This is the plus catalyst. This is inactivated catalyst. So plus catalyst is uh, cell uh, proton cell growth. There, there is no reduce uh, reduce uh, hydrogen peroxide production. And in case of the plus uh, inactivated catalyst, there is no reducing cell growth because there is there is no cell growth. So Despite of the conditions above, that these are these are these problems are mainly generalizing. As far as energy and energy concern is required, energy concern, isopropanol is quite I think uh, promising for a future energy future energy choice because the problem the other problems we have is, is, is those are manageable 
and uh, um, as compared to the hydrogen gas, we were people talking about using hydrogen gas as an energy source, but hydrogen gas has some limitation over limit, limitation like it has low energy density and lack of distribution to uh, lack of distribution and storage infrastructure problems. So uh, in case of ener energy density, isopropanol has more more energy density as compared to the hydrogen gas, so it is more efficient. Um, and like fossil fuels, these are renewable and uh, environmental friendly. And this are my uh, closer uh, references with Daniel Daniel Nokia, the coordinating policy and production from hydrogen nitrogen Touching on different areas, uh, very future, futuristic. Uh, only uh, point I wanted to make, and I made it in the class before, is that it was wonderful, Tony Sarah's work and others. Uh, but we, uh, I wrote this one particular article and Royal uh, Chemistry or the uh, <laughs> news uh, thing is with uh, somebody from Iran, somebody from. England, somebody from Japan, and other people, to, to suggest that we should not only focus on cobalt, but we should see how we can use a native manganese complex, which is non toxic. And so we are very happy with all the research going on in all types of things, and this includes one, and thank you very much. But let's see if there are any questions. Right.
Today my topic is Future Battles, Use of Biosecure Molecular Diacentry in Molecular Artificial Protein. I feel that uh, as many of you have said once before, energy consumption should like in humans can kill a certain level, it directly increases immunity to development and like developing that is the increase of biology. And humans they uh, consume the far more energy, five to eighteen due to energy in two thousand eight alone. 84% of that comes from harmful fossil fuels. The fossil fuels have been created at an alarming rate. Uh, we are depleting it 500,000 times faster than the Earth can produce them every single day. Now, the problem is not that we run out of fossil fuels because fossil fuels still remain for around 100 years at least. The thing is pollution. By the end of 2050, uh, pollution is going to reach 9.4 billion. The of the CO2 that we produce, that is, that is in our last year. Now, why artificial photosynthesis? Obviously, solar energy is the best long term solution because the sun gives us a better for 22 units of energy every single day. Now, we use a fraction of that for our whole year. So, and photosynthesis efficient as defined by Blankenship, uh, which uh, is the energy constant of annually harvested biomass divided by the which, uh, which paper? One year? Uh, you know, yeah, yes, uh, 
long year chart prepared for this. There's one more problem. Sorry, one more solution. Instead of adding, uh, instead of adding uh, option scale to long year chart prepared state, we can also try to separate, typically separate the electron from the electron hole by means of uh, electron donor and acceptors. It's, it's similar to the way plants do. Plants have a, a whole cascade of uh, plant molecules, carrier molecules. And similar to the engineering method, the molecular structure can be changed in the process that the scale is the same. This is the question of the scale. So one more minute. Uh, why by the list is also a friend of mine, and I teach a first primary class of this. Similarly, in cytology, we can uh, we also get a large complex. Now, Asian oxidation is reduction. Now, uh, currently, the photographic tools we have, they're not very efficient. Uh, so, we will be asking you to have a section of efficiency. Let's just summarize the principles. Let's just summarize it. Yes, let's start. Conclusion is the base stands. Free flow society is the energy driver. Now, if we are to develop, we need energy. And uh, obviously, solar energy is the best long term solution that we have right now. And the artificial molecular artificial process leads to a free flow energy generation that is possible for the US Sabat plants by tapping the road passing system that plants do not use. It's a green gap and parted iron. That's a promising new field, and we can expect to see exponential growth in the new field. Now. And I think we'll see and go. Charge separation, I will store it. <laughs> so 
uh, already got molecular uh, yes. uses, but we don't have like this kind of dye samples. Mm -hmm. dye samples that means we wanted to depend on uh, like the diffusion control of the mm -hmm. And For diffusion control, we need the triplets. Mm -hmm. But in this, we are trying to avoid the. I think we we put some uh, coffee together and uh, discuss the details. It's very exciting. Uh, is it the last one? So I want to thank all of you. Uh, I don't know how many number. We have 24 people. 24 people have spoken, and I think this course, in my opinion, are you recording it or not? Yeah, uh, <laughs> because I'm praising the students. <laughs> That's very important. So I'm very glad that you participated because you each in my opinion, learn more than just listening to my lecture. Because then you have to go and find, find things yourself. And then each of you, in my opinion, learn from each other. And I think it should be a dialogue between, let's say you and you talking, you talking, and others talking with each other. Because we are at the stage where a great explosion is going to happen in the next 30, 40 years, when we will hopefully solve the problem both by biological uh, methods, biofuel methods, as well as artificial methods, so both natural and artificial methods, and so on. So anyway, I want to thank again, and I want to know when I'm coming back here, at 12 or 12, 11? 12. 12, and please, uh, will you be recording uh, all the things or not? I hope you are. So the problem is that when they do the drama, I don't know how you will record it, do you know? Because they are going all over. So you will, you, you know. Okay, great, great. I'm very glad. And the last day, uh, so 12, uh, so today is 12. You have a practice, correct? Yes. And so you will also record the practice. And then uh, tomorrow, what time we start? We start at 11, but we have to finish before 12 because, no. No? Yeah, we have to finish before 12. Before 12, because Professor Patnaik, I think, yeah. wants to give certificate to those who signed up for the course. The grace are not the issue there. Okay? Yes, yes. The grace are being given by person. Those who are not in the course need to have special, I don't know what, what's happening. Uh, later, fast. Uh, so I, I normally turn it off. That's the other thing I should do, turn off the phone, but I forgot. Right. So anyway, all of you gave a wonderful talk. And when you see mistakes, they're not mistakes. They, they, they are way of maybe errors made somewhere. And they're the mistakes of the people that the, who are giving the talk. They've read something somewhere, and therefore it gives you an opportunity to go deeper and change what you learned as well. And I must say that your talks were better than my lectures in many of my lectures, and so I appreciate and I'm glad I introduced this way of teaching, that you yourself teach yourself. Okay, so with that, uh, I shall leave. And I do want you to write uh, some comments on my presentations. Uh, so, and give it to Vernali. Please don't forget that because I live, I'm retired since 99, and I live on your wonderful, nice words. So I can teach, continue to teach. Thank you very much.